When you look through the viewfinder, you've got three options for your autofocus, and the autofocus modes are single, AI servo, and AI focus. When you look through the back screen, the LCD screen, you also have a chance to change the autofocus methods, and through the back screen, you've got FlexiZone, AF Live, and AF Quick. Now, the modes and the methods are not the same. But if you read the Canon manual about autofocus, they use the same term, method, for both of these, and so it can seem more confusing than it really is. Okay, so let's look through the viewfinder first. The first autofocus option, looking through the viewfinder, is one shot, and what that means is that it's designed ideally for non-moving objects. The Canon will focus and set exposure each time you press the shutter button, and it won't actually take the picture until it is focused. Now that means that you obviously have to focus before you can press the shutter completely down to take the picture. And that's fine for a single shot, but if you start to shoot continuously, then it will focus on the first frame, and throughout that burst, the focus won't change. So if your subject then moves throughout that burst, they will move in and out of focus, because the initial focus the first time you pressed that shutter button halfway down is the focus that will stay at the setting all the way through that continuous burst. The next option you've got in Viewfinder is called AI Servo, and what that does is it refocuses every time it takes a shot. It's really good for things that are moving around in the frame, but you have to remember to keep the subject within the diamond of nine points that you can see through the Viewfinder because those are the focus points. And if the subject moves outside of those, the camera won't be able to focus on the subject. So you will have to move the camera around probably when you're focusing on something that is moving. But with AI Servo, the camera will try to do its best to keep the subject in focus. If you're shooting one shot, then of course that's fine. But if you're shooting continuous, then theoretically, the camera should be able to shoot three frames per second, but of course it is taking that split second to focus every time, and so it will slow down that continuous frame rate speed. But broadly speaking, it works pretty well, and it's a good option for photographing somebody moving around, or a sports option, or even sometimes for portraits. Okay, so the third option in Viewfinder is called AI Focus, and this is really a bit like a mixture of the two that we've seen previously. It will start off automatically on one shot, and then if the subject then starts to move around in the frame, it will switch to AI Servo. Now, to be honest, it would be far better for you to be in control and decide whether you're going to shoot one shot or AI Servo, rather than leave that to the camera. So I would suggest that you don't really bother with this one, and either you choose one shot or you choose AI Servo and ignore AI focus. Ah.